of all the cars to get while I'm Ubering to get my RSX from paint, I happened to ride with a 2010 TSX, and so as I do, I asked the guy how many miles he's got on it, because, you know, it's a well-preserved car. Looks like it might have maybe 100,000 or something, but check this out. Looks like I have to close this to see. So 495,987 miles. And uh, he said he's had to do some stuff to the ignition system, but it's never been hit. It's never been sort of, uh, you know, heavily worked on in any way. And it is in gorgeous shape. So props for that. Guys, I just got the RSX back and it looks absolutely perfect. These guys, this is the car, uh, the third car that they've done for me from a full repaint perspective, as well as a couple other random little projects. But I can't express enough how happy I am with the work that Apex does. These guys uh, really brought this car back from the dead. If you all remember, the body was pretty darn beat up on all four corners and then some and it was a real work of art getting it back to its current condition. So huge thanks to Isaac, the entire team at Apex for the phenomenal work they did with this. And I did collect my original parts. So I have the fender at home, the bumper here and the headlights because the bumper and the fender have VIN tags, even though this one you can see has been painted over in case somebody wanted to salvage those. And then I honestly think the headlights could probably be cleaned up with the right amount of TLC. So it's worth hanging onto those to keep with the car. And the car is going straight to import powerhouse here in uh, Phoenix for a clutch. The clutch that's in it right now is about 11 or 12 years old, has only 60,000 miles, but I think there were a lot of city miles because the pedal engagement isn't quite where I want it to be, and it just feels like the car could use a refresh there. But I happen to park next to a very nice EM1 Electron Blue Civic, as well as a Fit and a Cord Coupe, and a couple neat old Hondas right here, CRX and a Civic hatchback so these guys definitely deal in a lot of cool vintage honda stuff the rsx is back in action with the new clutch thanks to import powerhouse shout out to ramsey and will who uh, knocked this thing out in less than 24 hours i'm absolutely amazed at their turnaround time and efficiency so that kind of wraps it up honestly for the mechanicals on this car there's a few more cosmetic things to dial in uh, just to kind of get it, you know, totally showroom worthy. But this thing has come a long way just in the last few months and I'm excited to take it to the finish line. Working on a little bit engine bay detail on the RSX. Coming together really nicely. I used a little bit of uh, goof off, sort of adhesive remover to get some of the build up off of the engine cover there. And everything else is just a lot of elbow grease and a little bit of simple green and some uh, rubber and vinyl dressing to top it all off. Got to replace this uh, interstate battery with an OEM Honda. Not because the battery is bad, but because I don't like the unsightly green look. I want it to be an OEM engine bay. But while we're in here, I'm gonna clean up the tray. There's a little plastic tray over there, as well as the battery sort of uh, compartment here. Let's get that cleaned up before we do any kind of reinstall. There we go, not perfect, but it's a heck of a lot better than what it started out as. And let's get the battery put back in. Better. That is an attractive engine bay with a factory battery in it. It's pretty detailed here, but I'm gonna go a little bit crazy on the wheels. Um, I don't have good access to these pockets here that have a lot of 20 years worth of buildup. And I found out that I can get pretty good coverage in here if I just pull off each lug nut one at a time and hit it with a little bit on a rag of this overspray remover. That'll help me uh, get a little bit better access here. And you can really tell uh, just standing next to the car that those are clean versus dirty. So I'll take my time and do all 20 of those. Here's a little detail that I have to do on each of my cars. So this little keyhole didn't get masked during the repaint, so I'm gonna pick away at it here with a little um, 
miniature jewelry screwdriver because it just flakes right off and it exposed. That came off in one big nice piece. So let's get that out of there. Yeah, see, it's supposed to be exposed metal in there, and now it's much better. RSX is looking awesome after today's fine tuning. The last thing I'm going to do is a quick spray coat of ceramic wax and then condition the leather and we'll call it a day, maybe dress the tires as well. And then we'll see how she looks. is about as good as it's gonna get after a wipe down with that ceramic coat uh, wheel and tire dressing exterior window wipe down and a little bit of uh, rubber and vinyl protectant wherever needed completely different car from what this thing started out as back in December <laughs> 